Um, typically, construction projects are done so close to a supplier that they don't order everything at once. They order all the foundation, things they need for a foundation, things they need for framing, then the things that they need for finishing the exterior or interior, and then the actual finished finished products. So trying to get your head around all of that, we divided it up between Jack and Dave and I and broke it down and tried to make sure we had everything we possibly could need and think of. Um, on one flight to get it up here. And uh, that's been the most challenging thing and the most of a, a learning process too because we, you know, of course every once in a while would realize we had forgotten something. Making it affordable by going through the effort of getting at all the materials on one plane or one barge or whatever is necessary is, is really the only way we're going to be able to build in the future. The architect inside me that, you know, wants to see what I've drawn up, built. So that's a reward. But I think the greater reward in this project is seeing the students, the local students, uh, understanding why we're doing this and getting excited about it and getting excited about the efficiency of this house and the unique things, the durability of the materials we've used and the unique materials and the solar panels and the wind. And just they're getting excited about it as well as learning their trade. I like to see it like in a few months from now when somebody's living in there and how, what they think of that, how it is and how it's different from the house, other houses around here. The foam is cool and the sod on the top, that's pretty different. <laughs> well, the garage, no one around here has a garage. I'm actually re reconsidering my, my what I want to do when I grow up. <laughs>